Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is once again rolling out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders build 25300, which is this week's um, latest Insider build. Now, um, just to go through a couple of new features, changes and improvements, just to highlight some of these quickly for you today in this video, as there is a possibility that some of these features could rolled out to a stable version in the future. Now the first um, new improvement and kind of change to build 25300 is um, Microsoft says they have now brought the ability to show seconds in the clock and the system tray uh, that was first introduced with build 25247 is now back in this latest insider preview build and if we zoom in here we can see that they have also updated their personalization page taskbar page in this latest build where um, when you uh, check the box to show seconds in the system tray clock it indicates now that it will use more power because obviously um, that's got to update those seconds in real time and um, especially maybe on a low budget machine that could use extra cycles and take up extra system resources so they've just included that uses more power when you toggle on show seconds in system tray clock and then heading over to the next new feature and this is to do with live captions which um, as many of you may know uh, Microsoft released first uh, in English only for um, insiders in the United States at first and that was with the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update that rolled out last year in 2022 and uh, um, the live captions are now available in Chinese, that's simplified and traditional Chinese. And also according to Microsoft, other languages now include French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, and um, Spanish and other English dialects. And Microsoft says there are more languages that are still to come in the future. So just testing in Bolt 25300 now. Um, some extra languages when it comes to live captions in the operating system and um, they also mentioned that you can turn on live captions with the win and control l keyboard shortcut or via quick settings in build 25300 and then moving on to the next and um, this is the snap layouts and as many of you know windows 11 has the ability to uh, provide different snap layouts uh, for Windows and um, in Bolt 25300 Microsoft now are introducing what they are calling different treatments for snap layouts and um, basically this is to improve the discoverability and usage of the feature which includes decreasing the hover time required to invoke the flyout when um, you mouse over the maximum and or restore button in an app's title bar so basically that's the long and the short of the new treatments they are now testing for snap layouts in this latest preview build for the Dev Channel Insiders this week. And then just to um, focus on some other changes, and um, if we just head out of these screenshots, uh, the first is for voice typing. Um, Microsoft mentions in the release notes that the change to sync voice typing settings, that's automatic punctuation and voice typing launcher across all devices, signed in using the same Microsoft account is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel with this latest preview build that has rolled out. Now um, another uh, new um, feature Microsoft has introduced if we just head over in the stable version to the settings menu um, the apps and your startup apps this is going to be getting a little bit of a a new treatment possibly in the future where Microsoft say they have updated the settings apps startup to make it easier to access more information about the apps listed so not available yet in the stable version but some um, more um, information regarding the settings apps and the startup apps is now being tested in build 25300 and um, something else uh, that isn't available yet in the stable version which Microsoft is now testing in this latest preview build is that they say that right clicking on a Win32 app uh, in start, so as an example, a, the Firefox web browser, um, just as a simple example, would be a Win32 app. And um, when you right click now um, on a Win32 app in start, 
um, or uh, searching for the app and choosing uninstall will now take you to the settings to uninstall the app. Now currently in the stable version, if you right click on a Win32 app and you click on uninstall, it takes you over to the legacy control panel programs and features list where what will happen now in the future possibly is when you right click on a Win32 app, it'll take you directly to the installed apps, apps and features list instead of the control panel uh, where you'll be able to uninstall that Win32 application uh, in the Windows 11 operating system. And then the last quick mention, uh, they've improved the upgrade experience for WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux, and that's for the Linux Store app, which was first mentioned in build 25272, so it now prompts for installation if WSL.exe is invoked. So that's a bit of an upgrade experience to WSL in this latest dev channel build. And if we just head over to uh, the release notes quickly, over and above those new improvements and changes, we get um, the fixes that have rolled out, general fixes, taskbar and system tray, I've mentioned regarding the show seconds in the system tray clock, fixes for widgets, input file explorer, task manager, and other, and because we are uh, in the dev channel, it is still early days, so there are a couple of known issues and they do appear in these early preview builds of the operating system. And I'll leave a link, a link to the, these release notes uh, in the description if you would be interested to just read up a little bit more in depth about this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build 25300, which is now rolled out to the Dev Channel Insiders for this week. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.